So you you mentioned that you knew you had to prove your prove yourself by being a professional. What exactly do you mean by that? Like to a new girl who wants to get into the industry, what would you tell them are some of the key things that they should do in order to be a professional and be somebody that producers want to hire and have back on set and work with again and again? I mean, you have to consider yourself a business and a brand. And um, for me, I think because I'd already worked for myself as a makeup artist and handled my own bookings for that, I um, I kind of had a little air of professionalism to, to myself. But I guess to me, being a professional is, um, you know, being responsive in a timely manner uh, when people are trying to book you or get in contact with you, uh, showing up on time, not making people wait around for you, being tested, um, you know, and ready to go and, you know, don't show up fucked up. Don't, you know, like it's it's really, really actually quite simple. It's just like show up on time, be prepared, like know what you're doing, know what you signed up for, have a positive attitude, be courteous to the people on set with you. And I feel like that's basically it. And then from there, you can really express yourself in your scene, you know, and like, let your, like, let yourself shine in the way that you want to. And for me, that's what I did. You know, it's like, I did the basics, but I think for me, like my fan base was cultivated around the way I performed and, um, the sincerity that I think I bring to scenes and like the enthusiasm. So really to, to be professional is quite simple, but I think it's all the other extra stuff in between that's going to get you further. And also having, um, you know, having a presence on the internet, which I actually struggle with. I'm not, I actually like really hate feeling like I have to like check in daily on the internet to the world. Um, I'm, kind of private. So I have to work on like posting consistently and keeping myself out there. So people don't forget I exist because <laughs> they will in this instant <laughs> gratification world. <laughs> yeah. I feel you on that. I'm a big fan of scheduling posts and some platforms don't allow you to schedule certain types of things. Like obviously like the whole, I'm, I'm failing I ain't going to lie. I'm failing miserably at like the Snapchat thing. Cause like, I don't think to check in every day and like post a picture or a video. Um, so I totally, I totally feel you on that. That is, that is tough. Yeah. I tried doing fan centro and I just, I stopped. I was like, I would get so much anxiety if like my 24 hours lapsed and I had like nothing to show. And I was like, sitting around, you know, with no makeup on, like feeling bloated. And I'm like, what am I going to do? Like, I, this is so stressful. Like it was not, it was not for me. Like the Snapchat format was not for me, but so many other performers thrive, which is the beauty about, you know, being like an online, you know, sexual content creator is you can, there's a lot of avenues you can choose. You know, you can do the Pornhub route. You can do OnlyFans. You can do Fan Centro. Uh, you know, there's a lot of options now. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the show, make sure that you subscribe so you don't miss a single episode and go check out all the other videos. I film every single one of my podcasts. And if you want to listen to the audio version, I'm on iTunes and all the other podcast platforms. Visit hollyrandallunfiltered.com to find out more.